Let me light the cigar up. This is a Pan and Mason. Not an amazing cigar, but a free cigar. These are the f cigars that they give away free at the uh, Golden Nugget. So it doesn't have to be amazing if it's free. <laughs> I mean, they don't just basically, they don't just give them free. You have to, you know, play a little in the pits. Got to count some cards or something. Let me fire it up. I know the people in the archives fucking hate listening to me puff on the cigar. That's why I like it so much. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 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 People are... So, um, if anybody wants to call in, 559-823-5483. For, uh, first time viewers, listeners, thank you very much. This is an interactive show. I mean, I have no problem just blathering on, but I like to talk to people. I'll talk to you in the chat, or you can call in. Um, if you uh, if you miss part of the show, you go to liveatthebike.com, and uh, it'll be in the archives there. The archives are free if you enter a poker sesh when you sign up. Poker sesh. So that's all I can tell you about that. But feel free to call in. I like you know I like shooting the shit. I like to make sure the phone's working right. I like to do all that stuff. Five five nine eight two three five four eight three. I'm hoping to see uh, Mr. Bezad Tarani when I go to the World Series. I'll be there in late June. I don't play tournaments, but I just go to see my friends. Uh, I don't know why you haven't been modded, Crypto Charles. I don't. I don't mod people. I think we already have enough mods. I mean, I don't know how that shit works, and I'm not gonna get started now. Call in. You're gonna ask me. <laughs> Uh, I was at a beer fest over the weekend while everybody else was playing the Colossus. Um, the Firestone Walker Beer Fest, amazing beer fest. If you're into beer, it's the best beer fest you will ever go to. And uh, I picked up some rare stuff. I got this here, Sour Opal. Uh, it's, uh, I like sours. I'm into sours. I'm big on sours. So I'm going to be cracking this open. You know it's high class when it's got the cork. Very, very high class, so I'm open this high class beer right here. Uh, then I, uh, I'll jump into some topics. Very high class beer, sour opal. Oh, we got a call. I'm gonna I'll talk to the caller while I'm drinking this beer. Uh four two five, you're on poker sesh. Hey, hey, what's up? It's, uh, Zach from Seattle. Hey, Zach from Seattle. Hold on one second. I'm going to try and get some audio of me popping this cork, all right? Are you... All right. Okay, just be quiet. Quit breathe. Stop breathing. <laughs> okay. Okay, no, no. Stop everything. This, this audio is very fucking important. Not I'm very... hold my breath. Ready, set, okay. go. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sour you opened? Yeah, I'm opening a sour. It's a, it's oh, a, it's a barrel work sour open. Now wait, I'm, hold your. I'm gonna get some audio of of the of the of the gurgling sound of the of, of the, the pour the, of the pour. pour. Oh yeah, we're gonna get this pour. Go for it. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, there we go. Cheers, everybody. Slow down. Cheers. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go you know ahead, what the JG. World Series is? The, wor the World Series is basically the equivalent of a high school reunion for poker players. They see everybody across from the country and right. they're just going to bullshit about how well they're doing. Right. Oh, yeah, I play 1020. I play 510 PLO. When really they're just playing one, two home games. And right. they just want to go to the World Series to quote unquote be ballers and be seen playing yeah. 510 or whatever, playing a 5K at the Rio. But really, that's not what they do. Yeah, it's just, they just it's, want to look cool. It's yeah, it's all humble brags. It's complete fucking bullshit. Nobody who plays cards every day miss does big chip misclick. Nobody. That's why when Daniel Negreanu does it, and then everybody's like, "Did he know what he was doing?" Of course he knew what he's fucking doing. 
Of course he knew what he's fucking doing. If you play poker... Everyone who thought he was, didn't know that it's pure comedy. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe the people who were like, well, maybe Negreanu didn't know. Are you fucking kidding me? The guy plays poker every single day. The people who are making these fucking misclicks are people who never fucking play poker. Because if you play poker every day, you understand how to put chips in the pot, whose turn it is to act, how much is in the pot, how much the previous raise has to be to make another raise, how blah, blah, blah. Like, this is just like poker 101. Like, fish know this. Fish. Fucking fish. Fish who play poker every day, like rich dudes who I play with every day, they know this. But I got guys who are telling me that they get poker lessons who are like, oh, miss click. Fuck you, miss click. Humble brag, but your humble brag just told me something. There's a reason I've never seen you in a casino. It's because you don't fucking play poker. You put, you're going to play this one fucking tournament. You got like 20 fucking people to back you. And now uh, you want to prove to everybody that you're in a tournament so that you can get some more customers or something. I, and, and don't, and again, again, don't give me the fucking I play online shit. Because if you live in California or you live in fucking Oregon or you live in fucking Washington, you're not playing online. Period. Don't tell me, oh, I could play at Bavada. Oh, what about Bavada? There's no fucking Bavada. You can't, A, number one, you can't get the money on, and B, number two, you can't get it off. Nobody with a fucking half a brain cell would keep enough money on Bavada that it mattered. Because you don't know if you're getting it back. It takes fucking forever to get the goddamn money on, forever to get the goddamn money off. There's a catch-22 with playing at these fucking sites that Americans can still play at. The catch-22 is to have the, the, the amount of money that you need to actually play online for a living is more than you should ever keep on these sites if you even have half a fucking brain cell, all right? Bavada! Oh, 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 Bavada! Don't give me that shit. If you're misclicking in a fucking live tournament, you just don't play poker very often. Admit it. It was a humble brag. We'll all get over it. Anything else? Um, no, basically, I mean, I have some PLO stuff. If you guys want any callers, you don't have anything else to talk about. But Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to call in, 559-823-5483, live on air. And, um, yeah, this guy's saying you're stupid. How much did you withdraw, you fucking dinkweed K-dog? $12? We're talking about the amount of money you need to be a professional poker player, you fucking nit. If you're going to be a professional poker player playing cash games or even large tournaments, enough to make a living, not enough to live in your parents' fucking basement eating ramen, you're going to have to keep five figures on Bovada. If you're keeping fucking a, a, a solid large five-figure amount, if you're keeping a large five-figure amount on Bovada, you're fucking retarded. And when you come on a, a, a couple years from now, when you fucking can't get the fucking money off and you're on uh, 2 plus 2 News News Gossip like, hey, I can't get my 35000 off Bovada. I'm going to laugh in your fucking face, right? Because of course you can't get it off. It's an illegal fucking poker site operating illegally. Oh, you're just tilting me now.